in these problems we're being asked to solve some complicated looking inequalities and there are some negative numbers in these so there's a rule that you need to keep in mind when you're solving inequalities uh, and dealing with negative numbers if you end up multiplying or dividing this inequality by a negative number you have to flip the inequality sign so if it says less than you flip it into greater than if it says greater than you flip it to less than but that's only if you multiply or divide by a negative number. So let's see how this works. Uh, in this one, we want to solve for u, and u is being divided by 4. Actually, there's a negative sign there too, so I could say it's being divided by a negative 4. And we could multiply by a negative 4, and that would get the u alone. This, this negative 4 and this negative 4 would cancel if I did that. So I could multiply this side by negative 4. If I do that, 4 times 9 is 36, and then divide 36 by 2. I'm going to get a negative 18 over here. And now, this inequality sign, I need to flip it. In reading in this direction, it says greater than or equal to. So I have to change that to less than or equal to. The equal to comes along with it. It's just this part that gets flipped. And then over here, the negative 4 and the negative 4 cancel, and I just have u. So we've got negative 18 is less than or equal to u. Or if we wanted to write that the other way, we would just read it this way. We would say u is greater than or equal to negative 18. All right, let's look at uh, this next one. Here we have 16 is greater than or equal to negative 2 sevenths y. So I'm just going to rewrite this slightly. So I'm going to call this negative 2 sevenths times y. And the reason I did that is because I wanted this fraction to be separate. Because when you have a fraction like this multiplied by your variable, you can undo it by multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by, well, and there's a negative sign here too, so I'm going to multiply by a negative 7 halves. The negative times the negative will make this po a positive y, which is great. And the sevens will cancel, and the twos will cancel, so we'll be left with just y. Of course, I have to multiply this side by the same thing, so negative 7 halves over here as well. So 16 times negative um, 7 halves, well, the 16 divided by 2 would be 8, and 7 times 8 is 56, so this is going to be a negative 56 is greater than, oh, whoa, no, I divided by a negative number, so I've got to flip the sign, sign here. So we will go from greater than to less than or equal to. So negative 56 is less than or equal to y. Or if we wanted to read it this way, we'd say y is greater than or equal to negative 56. So that is how to solve inequalities when you have to multiply or divide by a negative number, and you've got fractions involved.